After watching multiple pro player settings of Fortnite, now I'm gonna show you how you can do the best settings on your PC pros are using to get better FPS, stable frame rates, and lower input delay. So just make sure to watch this whole video. If it's your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like, and let's get straight into over this video. So guys, before starting this video, please let me know your PC specs. Therefore, I can help you further or specifically to improving your PC performance. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to create a performance monitor profile on our PC for the Fortnite. So for that, you need to go for your Windows search icon and search for performance monitor and make sure to run this as administrator. Once you go to this window, you need to go for this data collector set and go for user defined. If you just simply click on this drop down and click onto this user defined, this kind of the empty screen. So right click here, go for new, go for data collector set. And now from here, you need to name it like Ripex Fortnite FPS Boost. Now you need to go for this create a manual and advanced settings and click on this next button. Now check mark onto the performance counter and again click on the next button. Now I need to add here the processes and some other profiles inside the performance counter. So click on this add button. Now you have to find out here this processor option. So guys click here. Now go for this list and select out here the highest number available here. So guys I have 15 according to my CPU cores. And click on this add button and add this profile onto the add counter profile section. Now next scroll a little bit up and here you will find this process option. So go for it and now set it onto the total. And again, click on this add button and add these profiles on your PC. After that, now hit OK. Click on this finish button and guys, that's it. Now, right now, status is on the stop. So guys, right click here and click on the start button and that's it. Now, after that, now close out of your performance monitor counter. Now, in the next step, you need to lower the number of processes running on your PC. Therefore, you can get the stable FPS and lower input delay out of your mouse and keyboard. So, guys, for that, you need to go for your system tray and find out here this application that is running right now on your PC. So, for disabling them, you need to go for the startup apps option. So, guys, here we have startup apps. And here you will find out all the apps available on your PC. You need to sort it from the high to none or towards the low and now from here you need to find out the application you are not using on the daily basis you can still use this application after disabling it so guys for example here is the steam so you can simply right click here and disable this app from your pc if you not use the steam often after that now next here we got some other application like skype so right click and disable this Skype from your pc next here we got cortana so i have already disabled all this application from my pc make sure to guys also turn off the google chrome from here and now you need to go for the services tab now i will make another important and the advanced video for you how you can disable some important services from the a task manager to get the best performance out of your pc but guys until now you need to press w from your keyboard find out valid service right click here click on the stop and stop the service on your pc now you simply scroll all the way down here you will find out these xbox services so make sure to turn off all these xbox services on the pc i have already stopped them now after that now simply close out of this task manager so guys now the next step for reducing your input delay of your mouse and keyboard you need to download filter key server on your pc and you can find out from the link in the description simply go there and download this file on your pc now simply double tap here open up the zip file and drag this exe file on your desktop now you need to simply right click here and make sure to run this as administrator for having the full access. Hit yes. And here you will find out this kind of interface of the filter key setter. So guys now from here you need to use here the same exact setting most pro players are using. So guys go for ignore under. Set it on to the 0 ms. Now go for repeat delay. Set it on 200 ms. And go for the repeat rate. Set it on to the uh, 20 ms. Or simply set it onto the 25 ms whatever works best for you so guys i'm going with 25 now here you need to find out this when applied check mark onto the save to registry and after that simply check mark onto the available use shortcut confirm activation activation sound show status and key click simply guys simply use the settings now hit on this ok button and save the settings on your pc you cannot even delete the filter key from your pc or you can simply keep it on your pc so guys now the next step we are going to tweak our registry for the lowest input delay so for that go for your window search search for registry editor and make sure to run this as administrator 
Now once you got here, now in the next step, you need to copy the path from the description of this video, simply paste it here and press enter. So guys, once you are here inside this window, simply right click here, go for new and create here a dword 32 bit value new registry key. Simply name it like TCP AVK frequency and hit enter. Now go for it and set the value data onto the one, set the base on the hexadecimal and hit OK. Now you need to create here an other registry. So again, right click here, go for new. Go for D word 32 bit value and now name it like TCP no delay. Make sure to guys use the same capitalization for creating these registry settings and hit enter. Now double tap here and set the base onto the one, set the base onto the hexadecimal and hit OK and now simply close out of your registry editor. Now for the next step, we are going to optimize our network adapter settings because having the stable or the lower ping also reduce your input delay and make your gaming experience load better. So for that, simply right click on your Windows Start icon and open up Connection Network Settings. Now you need to go for Advanced Network Settings and now click on this drop down for your Ethernet. Now you need to go for More Adapter Settings and click on this Edit button. Once you go to Ethernet Property window, now you need to go for this Configure option. Open up the Advanced tab and follow the settings also on your PC. ARP Offload, set it on to the Enable. Flow Control, set it on to the Disable. Interrupt modulation, set it on to the disable. Now go for NS offload, set it on to the enable. Now go for receive buffer, set it on to the 512. Now next go for shutdown wake on LAN, set it on to the enable. Speed, set it on to the auto negotiation. Now scroll all the way down and go for transmit buffer, set it on to the 4096. Now scroll down, change the wake on magic packet, set it onto the disable and at the end also go for WOL and shut down link speed, set it onto the no speed down. Hit OK and save the settings on your PC and guys your internet will be gone for a few seconds and then it will become again. So guys now the next step we are going to adjust our windows graphic settings. So for that right click on your windows start icon and open up system settings. Now you need to go for advanced system settings. Go for settings and now from here you need to set it onto the adjust for the best performance. This will disable all the animation and effect of your windows and make it more responsive. So guys now simply click on this apply button and hit ok. Now in the final and the last step of this video we are going to optimize our Fortnite game user settings. So for that press windows R together from your keyboard and type a percentage, local app data percentage and hit enter. Now find out here Fortnite game save config windows client and here you will find that your game use settings.ina file first of all go into the properties and make sure to uncheck read only box from here and hit ok now right click here and go for the edit of your game user settings now in the very first step you need to find out here the show grass option so go for it and set it onto the poles after that turn off the motion blur now scroll it a bit down and find out next settings that the energy is saving so guys make sure to go for it and set it on to the poles go for energy saving enable focus loose also go for it and also set the settings on the false once you're done now you need to press ctrl s from your keyboard now scroll down and find out your graphic settings so guys here we got our resolution quality set it on to the 100 percent whatever you want to do view distance set it on to the zero shading quality and landscape quality these settings are not available in your fortnite so guys you can change it only from the game settings so set it onto the zero and zero after that go for file option and hit save and now close out of your game settings